The applications for the 2028 are many. The obvious, the lead singer, the background singers, announcements, stand-up comedy, beatboxes, and everything in between. I'd like to go through the features and some of the uh, mechanics behind the microphone design. The 2028 comes in three different versions. The cable version and two different wireless versions. One version, we call it SL1, is compatible with Shure, Electrosonic, Sony, Line 6, and many other fine wireless systems. It also comes with the SE2. It fits with the Sennheiser 2000 series, Evolution series, and others. So if you want to upgrade your wireless system, this is a very efficient way to get studio quality microphones onto the live stage. You simply take the wireless head, put it on your system, and there you go. You have the quality of the capsule on your wireless. One of the features is of course the grill. The grill is detachable. There's an inner pop shield in here, which is also detachable. So if you remove that, I don't know how much noise that makes when I remove it while I speak, but remove that. Now we have no pop protection and it will probably pop quite a bit when I speak into it. But in here we see a shock mount. Shock mount that will prevent handling noise from the cable and from the handling and from the stage, from, this, from the mic stand to into the capsule. Very delicate little thing, so don't mess around with that. It is as thin as possible to prevent the pop shield from distorting the sound, from changing the sound. So I'll put on the, the grill again. The grill is there for the pop protection, but also to protect the capsule. The frequency response of the 2028 is flat like any other DPA microphone. It has a roll off around 100 Hz, but goes above 16K all the way up to 20K to pick up the highest frequencies like you would expect from any high quality studio microphone. The frequency response around the microphone, the polar pattern, is even as well. It has the same flat frequency response from all angles, which means that the microphone doesn't change character when you speak into it from the side, but it attenuates the level dramatically when you go to the rear of the microphone. The Super Cardioid has a very little back lobe in this version here, but it is completely deaf in the angle of 135 degrees behind the mic. So place the stage monitors in this angle to eliminate uh, as much uh, feedback uh, as possible. This microphone has a dynamic range of 117 dB with a max SPL at 160 dB. That's plenty for normal singing and other applications where you would use a, a handheld microphone like this. When you are cleaning the microphone, take off the grill and wipe it with isopropanol. If you want to clean the foam, inside foam, on either the 2028 or the de facto, you peel out the foam. I'm using tweezers or this just to release it and then pull it with my fingers. So wash it, leave it out to dry overnight maybe, and put it back in very easy. And you're ready to go again. Thank you for watching. If you need more information, please look at our website. There's a lot more to see there.